Hey guys, I'm Jay Dwayne from Photo Factor. Welcome to part two in chapter two of getting to know a bit about changing image sizes in Photoshop. In this session, we're going to talk a little bit about resolution, a term you've undoubtedly uh, already heard about, especially if you've been uh, dabbling in photography for quite some time already. Um, and we're going to just talk a bit about what you need to know when you are saving an image for print. In our previous tutorial, we mentioned that DPI, when it comes to web images, uh, doesn't really isn't really relevant. But when print, when we go to print, it definitely is. So let's dive straight in. Right, so we have this image open up here. And we need to just take a look, see at what the current resolution is at. So we go up to the top menu bar, we click on image, and we scroll down here to image size. And your image dialog box comes up. So we can see here, we have an image that is at 900 pixels across uh, and 534 pixels in height. And we have a resolution here of 100 pixels per inch. So what does that mean? Well, it's kind of self-explanatory. I actually just want to click out of here quickly to illustrate something. If we zoom into this image, we can start to actually see the individual pixels that each image is made, uh, that every image is made up of on a bitmap image. Um, and so when we go to, when we speak about 100 pixels per inch, each, what it's quite literally what we're saying is we're asking, we're asking the software, in this case Photoshop, to insert 100 pixels per inch, right? And so, and so as we've already mentioned, when it comes to um, uh, web images, you don't really need to pay any attention to this, but when you're going to print, what fields do you need to put in here? Well, you may already have heard or not that the recommended resolution uh, for going to print is 300 pixels per inch. And for most home printers and probably most printers that you work with, this is the recommended the recommended value. However, some printers may stipulate a different number. And so when you are sending the image to a third party, you may just want to check in with them as to what resolution they require, right? But I don't know if you noticed here, let's just go back 100. As soon as I punch in 300, the image size changes and becomes um, a, perhaps a lot bigger than what we were originally anticipated, right? So, so in order for that not to happen, what you want to do is have the resample box unchecked, right? And you'll see here the image size dimension stays at 900 pix by 534 pix. Let's just bring this to inches. Most printers, if you're going to send it away, uh, work in inches. Perhaps in another country, they work in centimeters or millimeters. Okay, so now the 900 pix by 534 pix dimensions, as per what it appears on screen, has remained the same. However, the print size has dropped in size. So let's just go back here to 100. We were at 9 inches by 5.3 inches. If you're going to upsize this in resolution, it now means that you're going to have an image print at only 3, three inches wide and a height of 1.5 or 1.78 inches to be more specific um, in order to accommodate the amount of pixels per inch that you, you've requested. So it's, it's worth just when you are saving an image right out of camera or when you're opening it up in RAW, just to check your resolution when it's still in the RAW state, that it is, it is optimized at the highest resolution available to you. It's always better to be downsizing in resolution than to be upsizing. So once we're happy uh, with the resolution that we want, we can then just click on OK. 
and you are now ready to save your image and send it off to the printer either your home printer or some third party printer right now i trust you know a whole a whole lot more about resolution if there's still anything that's unclear for you do let me know in the comments and i'll make sure to address that for you i hope you got some value out of this video if so please do hit the subscribe button and do go on to our next video where we're going to discuss a little bit about cropping an image and how to straighten your your image in the event that maybe your camera was a little bit skew when taking the photo see you there